everyone, this is Peak Entertainment and we are back again and here now we have another video for you and we're going to take a look back at the big budget War of the Worlds movie and ask as to whether it's Steven Spielberg's most intense and scariest film. So when talking about this movie we go to its original release date of the 29th of June 2005 where it stars superstar Tom Cruise alongside Justin Chatwin, Dakota Fanning, Tim Robbins and Miranda Otto and it was directed of course by master filmmaker Steven Spielberg. It is a movie adaptation of the famous science fiction novel of the same name created by H.D. Wells back in 1898. It has the famous narrative of an alien invasion of planet Earth where the aliens are looking to extract the world's resources. And this film follows this outline set in its story in Brooklyn, New York where we follow crate operator Ray Ferrier who works on the docks. We learn that he's separated from his wife Mary Ann who drops off both their teenage son Robbie and their 10 year old daughter Rachel to raise for the weekend in Boston, Massachusetts. Now Ray struggles to connect with them especially with Robbie but things change suddenly when the town comes under attack from large thunderstorms and lightning strikes, occurrences that are happening all over the world. Going over with large crowds to investigate, Ray sees the shocking sight of a massive tripod machine emerging from the ground. The machine then proceeds a devastating attack on the town vaporizing the city and people with powerful energy blasts. Barely managing to get away, Ray takes Robbie and Rachel and looks to escape the town. What then follows is a seemingly never-ending fight for survival as the family witnesses the destruction of the alien invasion, not only fighting off against them, but also the chaos and paranoia of other civilians as well as dealing with their own internal relationships. Now when looking back at War of the Worlds, it's definitely at least two thirds of the way a masterclass in escalating suspense and tension. You're constantly compelled to the journey and experiences that these characters go through. Seeing all of the terror and dread that they experience, it can truly be a compelling and immersive watch, especially for the first time. Cinematically, the film has this truly dark, brooding atmosphere. It's full of intensity, from the action to the musical score. We get these haunting horn-like sounds each time the tripods emerge from the ground, and at many times, it's very frightening. And this is yet more master direction from Steven Spielberg, still for me and for most movie fans, the greatest cinematic director of all time. He was very much a specialist in these elements of suspense and build-up. We look at some of the best examples from his work, from the likes of Jewel, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and most famously Jaws. And in reference to that movie in particular, we ask the original question as to whether War of the Worlds is Spielberg's most scariest movie, and I think it very well could be. We look at all of the sequences throughout the film, such as the first alien attack, as I mentioned before, a truly brutal and unflinching stage in here, as we see the vaporation of all the people and the buildings, it's very cold and startling and definitely shocking in its nature. We have the bridge scene where we see the people climbing over onto the ferry, desperate with some being left behind as the tripod suddenly emerges from the water. Again, we get those scary horns and booming sounds from the soundtrack and we see the cars being forced to fall onto the people as they're being submerged underwater. We have the crowded scene where we see Ray and his family trapped within the truck as a mob suddenly swarms their vehicle and they have to surrender it in order just to survive. We go on to the scene later on in the film where we see Ray encountering a former ambulance driver named Harlan Olgafi played by Tim Robbins and we have those moments as he tries to contain Harlan as the tentacles from the alien ship search around the underground basement for them. Now whereas other invasion epics of this type go for the large scale sequences, Spielberg focuses much more on the tighter contained scenes really creating that sense of desolation and claustrophobia and hopelessness. And in many ways, it's far more impactful, creating that greater sense of realism, and it's absolutely great stuff on the screen, keeping you on the edge of your seat all the way through. And in terms of the cast, all of the performances here are solid. Tom Cruise is as reliable as ever as a lead presence, starring as Ray. We're completely convinced that this man is absolutely determined to do whatever it takes to protect his family, and it's a very convincing performance. Now through no fault of his own, I have to say that I didn't really like Justin Chatwin's Robbie character. He's very annoying as he's constantly disobeying his father. And we do get to that scene where he stupidly runs off to watch all the carnage, leaving Ray and Rachel behind. Very annoying to watch as a character. Now the only other real stand-up performance in this movie was probably by Tim Robbins as Harlan, as I mentioned before, who was a very unhinged personality. He's clearly somebody who's too far gone by his previous experiences of war. And he brings a certain uneasiness and edgy tone to this movie, again generating a lot of tension because you're not really sure as to whether he's going to lose it. And again, Ray has to try and contain him for the sake of Rachel. And these moments culminate in definitely one of the most darkest scenes of the entire film. So we then go on to the movie's overall release and it was a massive big box office success. 
grossing over 603.9 million from a 132 million dollar budget it overall became the fourth highest grossing movie of 2005 behind the looks of the line of witch in the wardrobe and star wars revenge of the sith and it was yet another big successful collaboration between tom cruise and steven spielberg surpassing the success of their previous effort minority report from 2002 and i think war of the worlds is a fine example of how to expand on the original source material and make it for a much more contemporary audience and spielberg really did introduce a lot more of those terrorism elements that we would see him exploit even greater in the same year with his movie munich which is probably the last great film of his career so far and overall i just think it's a great visualization of the material but for some reason war of the worlds isn't a movie that's really mentioned a lot in either the careers of steven spielberg or tom cruise and i think a lot of the criticism comes from the movie's ending which at the time does feel a bit abrupt and as a viewer you feel a bit short change especially after going through all of the intense action of the first two thirds of the film even though it does in fact match the ending of the original source material many audiences just found it a bit illogical and not really as satisfying a payoff as what we saw with previous invasion epics prior to this overall release but as it stands i still think war of the worlds is a masterfully crafted movie once again, Steven Spielberg at his absolute peak. Going for those much more brutal, more realistic thrills. But it remains nonetheless as entertaining as his previous efforts, especially from the 80s. And overall, I do think it probably is his most intense and scariest movie. And very much of an underrated effort throughout his great overall career. So that's my overall thoughts and feelings and view of War of the Worlds from 2005. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you have any other suggestions regarding the other movies, television series, or any other issues in the pop entertainment and culture scene that you'd like to see me cover, then also let me know in the comments and I will see if I can provide further commentary for you on those topics within the future. Please also hit the subscription and notification buttons so I can provide you with more high quality content like this in the future. But that's it for now. Take care of yourselves and I will see you very, very soon.